Montana Science Center. I am here with another fun and virtual science station activity for us to do today. So stick around and I will tell you what we're doing. Alrighty, so if you look at our board here, you can see today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. In this video, we will be going over introductions, what are we doing, materials, what will we need, directions, how do we do this, and an explanation, how does this work? So for introductions, like I said, my name is Sarah Snyder. I'm the co program coordinator here at the Montana Science Center. And the title of today's experiment is called DIY Chalk Paint. What you will need for today's experiment are a large mixing bowl. I'm using a muffin tin to separate different colors of paint. If you have small jars or small bowls, that works well. I have this recipe as well for the chalk paint. I'll be sharing that recipe with us here shortly. Cornstarch, water, food coloring, and some paint brushes. So to begin this activity, I'm gonna look at my recipe and it calls for three cups water and three cups cornstarch. I don't quite have that much cornstarch on me, so I'm going to decrease it just equal parts cornstarch and water to one cup water, one cup cornstarch. I'm gonna measure those out and place them in this bowl and mix them. All right, so I actually grabbed a spoon to mix the cornstarch and the water equal parts. You can obviously make more. The recipe calls for three cups cornstarch, three cups water. I ended up doing one cup cornstarch, one cup water. Um, yeah, and just a reminder, recipes are an awesome way to um, incorporate math and science skills. So I'm gonna go ahead and put equal parts of this base water and cornstarch into a few cups in this muffin tin. And like I said, you can put it in baby food jars or other containers, um, something easily transportable for outside when you start painting. All right, here we go. All right, so I went ahead and divvied up that base of the cornstarch and water into the four components of my muffin tin. And I added some pretty fun and vibrant food coloring that I had laying around. If you have just basic food coloring, you can always mix colors. That's also kind of a fun science experiment within itself. So now I'm going to carefully transport this tray and muffin tin outside. And I have some paintbrushes over here that I'm gonna paint with on our sidewalk. Um, and we're gonna get kind of creative. All right, so as you can see, I'm outside currently. Um, it's nice and bright and sunny, perfect day for testing our chalk paint. And I am gonna go ahead and make a little art and show you my finished product. Here we go. Okay, so here I am outside one of our doors into the Science Center and I did a couple of hearts. Um, as you can see, when it dries, it gets a little bit lighter and does have the same kind of consistency as chalk, which is super interesting um, and kind of fun if you haven't purchased any chalk for the summer yet. So I think it turned out really awesome. Um, I would recommend thick paint brushes for this. It spreads it out a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, it's super fun. It rinses out in the rain, totally non-toxic. Um, and yeah, the cornstarch and water is a really awesome base for other paints as well. So keep that in mind as you're at home and exploring and having fun. All right, everyone, that is a wrap on today's virtual science station. Um, we'll catch you next time. All right, bye.